What's up, it's you. For today's video, we have a full Chandelua team. This one is for Patreon. If you like your custom theme team or Pokemon sweep, you can check it out in the description of the video under the Patreon link, patreon.com slash pipnight. I may even pin that in the uh, comment section too. Now, Vegeta, my man, thank you very much for suggesting this team and for the support. And a big shout out to all my Twitch sub and Patreon suit and all the people watching my videos at the moment. Definitely appreciate that. Now, what uh, he wanted me to do is use six different chandeliers. I used one of the sets he would like me to use. And, man, we had some really, really good top quality battles with this team. And uh, this team actually had a lot of weaknesses, right? Fire and Ghost. There's a load of weaknesses. All right, let's get into it. I hope you guys really enjoy this. Man, today was a, a crazy, crazy day for me. I'll explain that uh, throughout the video. So, we got a Solga Leo lead here. We got an Air Balloon on this chandelier. I thought Air Balloon would like, make a really good item, especially on this team, right? So, we got a physical set. This thing gets horrible physical moves, which is exactly why I wanted to use it. So we got a flame charge here. I'm actually going to get a crit on the flame charge. That did a lot of damage, man. And that is, uh, that's about a three hit KO. If, I mean, if I crit every single time. Now we got a swagger psych upset, right? And Solgale, if obviously they didn't see that I had an air balloon and, uh, that's going to do no damage. I have done that so many times. Right? You guys have roasted me like for that, like a hundred times. So we're going to go for the astonish now. I'm going to poke my little ghosty behind and try and get a flinch there. Astonish is a very, very weak move. I think it's only got like uh, 40 base power and it has a chance of flinching as well, 30% chance. Unfortunately, we didn't get the flinch there. So we got a uh, actually mixed soul glare here. The Sunday is going to hit me pretty hard. It's about a three hit KO. Um, I don't want to get paralyzed though. That'll actually end my chandelier. Now, it's actually thinking, you know, should I go for a swagger psych up or keep trying to take the soul glare out with like an astonished flinch and uh, flame charge drive? Anyway, so poking my behind arm once again in the air and soul Galeo is not going to get flinched, but the second thunder is going to land. So I'm I'm only going to be able to like, live one more thunder and uh, Shandalu is going to go down. So we're on 20 health there. I do not get paralyzed, which is really good. So I was thinking, I've got to go for flame charge here. Yeah. If I go for another Astonish, the chance of me, uh, you know, flinching them are not very high. So I go for that flame charge and Soul Galeo is going to go down. Now it's not too often. I mean, only on Pimp Knight's channel will you see physical chandeliers take out soul galeras. Come on, guys. That, that deserves the like. All right. So we're all set up. We're very speedy at the moment, but the thing we're lacking at the moment, obviously, is attack. Now, I was thinking, should I take a chance and get this swagger going on Mr. Fish? Now, Mr. Fish, right, this can take me out of the bubble, right? It's just going to bubble my whole team uh, right out of this battle. So I've got swagger and psych up. I thought, if I go for Swagger here, I might be able to hit it, make it hit itself in confusion and also make my attack even stronger. Might be able to get some uh, boosted astonishes, if you know what I'm saying, which would be uh, very astonishing. So uh, Mr. Fish, right, is going to be confused and Mr. Fish is going to hit itself in confusion, getting a nice little chunk of damage there. So I was thinking, should I go for another Swagger or should I start trying astonishing it um, with some damage? Flame Charge is not going to do a lot of damage here. Like, obviously, it's not very effective. I was in a little spot where I was thinking, Maybe I could psych this up and then get some uh, a extra astonished damage. Then I might get lucky with like uh, some flinches, right? It was a little bit of a, a tough situation, like, especially versing this Pokemon. So going for that psych up there, copying those swagger boosts from the Dragovish, and uh, Dragovish is going to get through that and take me out with a scummiest friend. I tried, guys. Like, I, I took one Pokemon down with that. I was very, very happy. So Chandelier is going to go down there, and uh, that had as the ability Infiltrator, too, if you're wondering. Okay, so into the next Chandelier. Oh, man, I should have nicknamed these Chandeliers. I forgot to nickname them numbers. So this one is a choice spec set. Max speed, max special attack, and modest nature. I want to hit as hard as uh, humanly possible. So a Pokemonly possible. So go for that Shadow Ball there. Uh, Mr. Fish is going to get hit in the mouth and it's going to get turned back into a fossil. Wait, it's already a fossil. So we've taken two really good Pokemon out, which is nice. Solkaleo and uh, Dragoosh. So the next Pokemon that's coming in is the Lunala. Man, they're stacking them on the field today. Like, this team is no joke. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go for another Shadow Ball here. This should do a lot of damage to Lunala. Shadow Shield actually is the only reason why it lives. Now it's going to go for a Scummy Boost Beam, and that is definitely going to take out my Chandelier. There's nothing I could have done there. And that actually looks really cool, that animation too. It's sort of like polished from uh, Generation 7. So my uh, Choice Specs uh, Chandelier is going to go down, but boy, it left a big mark on that Lunala. And it's put it in like a place where I can actually like revenge KO it with another Pokemon. 
problem. So into my next chandelure here. Now this chandelure was, I believe, yeah, this was my choice scarf set. So we got Flamethrower, Energy Ball, Shockwave, and Psychic. I thought Shockwave would be pretty cool on there for some water type Pokemon. So locking myself into that Flamethrower there, and Lula is going to go down. We've taken out half the team, so things are going like really, really good at the moment. So the next Pokemon coming in is the Sword Dogo. Now I am choice scarf. They do not know this. And uh, I was hoping this would actually not be Choice Scarf as well. Um, I can go for the... They've got the sword. Never mind. They've got the rusted sword. So we're going to go for the flame throw. Outspeed uh, friendly Doggo. And our sword Doggo is going to go down in one shot. We've taken four Pokemon out so far and only lost two. So things are going very, very good at the moment. Now there's two Pokemon left. They haven't Dynamax yet. So um, I definitely wasn't counting out like a clutch comeback. Especially from the Pokemon that we're using. So next one we got is uh, what does that nickname even mean? Like, can someone figure that one out? I don't. I don't even know. If they just like, I don't know, like fat fingered the nickname button. I don't even know. So we got a Dynamax Trap Man, Dragapult. I I'm actually really glad to see Dragapult. So I like never, ever, ever see it right. Like this is this is like a momentous like occasion here. So we got the uh, Dynamax Dragapult here. I've got, this is actually a really big problem Pokemon because it is super effective against my entire team. Actually, looking at their team, right, we, Loon Lard's good against my team. Um, like, I mean, a lot of them are. So going for that, uh, a very, very weak flame from there, hoping I could get a bird. And uh, now we've got the Max Geyser. This is really bad because that's actually going to make the um, the rain fall down, right? And that's going to be super effective against my Chandelure. So uh, Chandelure is going to go down and now there's going to be some rain on the field. So I've got three more Chandelure to work with. And I've got Dynamax still in the back. I'm not sure if I want to pop that Dynamax just yet. Now, it's got the Life Orb as the item. You guys can see the health bar slowly uh, going down there after the attack. So this Chandelure, this is the uh, the bulky weakness policy set. So we got uh, Max Health and Max Special Defense. And we got a weakness policy set. So what I'm thinking of doing, right, is going for the Dynamax because this is a bulky set. And I was thinking if I could get weakness policy to activate, then I could take out the Dragapult with that, right? Uh, it's got will o -Wisp and Hex as the other moves too. Um, it's actually a very, like, bulky acid armor set. It works uh, pretty interesting. Um, you, could, you could make it work if you had a little bit of setup. But versing uh, threats like this, it was very, very difficult. So I thought if I Dynamax it, this is going to be you know, the one to use. So go for the Max Guard there. Uh, this is also my Patreon. I uh, said they wanted me to use as well. So we're going to go for Max Guard. They're trying to stall out that uh, Dragapult. Now it's thinking, am I going to leave another attack from this thing? Am I going to be able to withstand it? So I went for the double Max Guard there. The second one has failed. However, it's going to get a Max Phantasm through. And Chandelure is going to go down even on the bulky set, which is really unfortunate. The good thing about that one row, right, is it actually took out all the turns of Dynamax. So that is their Dragapult done. They cannot Dynamax anymore. However, the problem is there is rain on the field and it does have super effective moves. So now we're going to go into Chandelure. I think number we're just going to call it number five, right? And Chandelure number five, I think this is my bulky, bulky set. Well, bulky on the other side, right, I believe. Ah, this is my Trapping Fire Spin set with Pain Spit and Protect. Um, a lot of these Pokemon as well come from some of my uh, earlier games. So we got a Phantom Force here. That's going to be bad because I've got Protect. Phantom Force can actually get through Protect. So I can't go Protect now and stall them out. So we got the uh, really, really bulky set here. That was Max Health, Max Defense. I just hang on on that one, which is very, very good. And uh, we get a little bit of extra Life Orb damage on the Drag Pole. And we get the Toxic off. Now, that was very important. Now, the thing about this Toxic ride is they could go for another Phantom Force, right? But it's going to take up an extra turn for them to hit me. Now, they don't know... That I've got protect here, yeah, so I was thinking if I go for protect this turn, they may get cocky and go for like just any like other coverage move. They could have dragon darts, they could have uh, sucker punch, quick attack, guys. Remember the quick attack dragon pop that's becoming a meme, anyway. So I'm gonna go for protect here, I'm gonna call their bluff. Hopefully, they go for like nothing, like n no other like sh uh, like ghost type moves, and they went for a dragon darts. That was really, really good. Almost said dragon dance there, go for a dragon darts dance, man. What would you do? You dance and you throw darts at the same time with little like baby. Be Dragapult on there. Okay, so more uh, toxic damage, which is really good. It actually helped for that uh, life or damage earlier on the game. I get two protects off with my Chandelure. I was, I was like, I was so hyped, but then they went for a fan of us. I'm like, oh, that's not going to matter. I was hoping they go for another Dragon Dance. So getting some more leftover recovery as Chandelure is basically wasted. There's nothing else we can do. But man, did it do a great job. Like uh, the Chandelure before, tanking out that Max Guard with the Dynamax, and this Chandelure sort of worked together to get rid of the uh, the Dynamax uh, Dragapult and Dragapult together. So that was the awesome combination between those two Chandelures. Now, you
you're probably thinking, has Pip Knight got a shiny one? Pip Knight does have a shiny one, people. We've got to have a, you've got to have at least one shiny Pokemon in these six teams. That's how it, you know, it works. So we've got one more Pokemon each, and this is it, people. I have got uh, versing a Cinderace, and I know what you're thinking, right? You've got Flash Fire. I don't have Flash Fire in this Pokemon. This is the scummiest Chandelure set you'll probably ever come across in your life. It's an infiltrator set. Let me roll you through it. We got Minimize, Substitute, and we've got Overheat on this one too. And we've got Laser Focus. So Chandelure is actually going to get missed by that Pyroball. They're very, very lucky that I don't have Flash Fire. They're very, very lucky. Like, I could have easily had it and boosted my Fire type moves. So now I've got the Minimize up. That's going to obviously like, increase my Evasion by two. I'm going to increase my Evasion as, like, by as much as possible. So Cinderace, if you think about it, is very, very much walled by Chandler. Think about it. Pyro Ball, uh, high jump kick, uh, U-turn. There's there's really not a lot I can do, right? So going for another Minimize there, we've got Max Minimizes up against this uh, Cinderace. So that's good. What we want to do, right, is we're going to go for a... Uh, I could go for a Laser Focus here. Um, usually I was going to throw the sub sheet up, but I thought, nah, I've got Max Evasion. I'm just going to go for the uh, Laser Focus. Now we got the U-turn. U-turn's going to miss as well. And now I can go for an Overheat. So what does... Uh, the overheat drop is going to do is drop my special attack. However, with the laser focus, we can bypass that, right? Which is going to be very, very handy. So my special attack is going to drop. Doesn't matter. And uh, I can go for a, just another overheat here to finish them off. That is game. I did a lot of damage to them on the first one. I'm waiting for them to make the move at the moment. And they cancel on the very last turn. They knew that I was going to win and they baby bottled at the end. That's all good, people. We won with a very, very, uh, like, that was a hard team to, uh, like, burst in. Uh, thank you for the battle walk. You pretty much just had to do one more turn though. I wasn't going to stall. All right, let's get on to battle number two. I need a good old swig of drink. Mm. I got these uh, lightly sparkling lime and uh, lemon. Man, it tastes, it's so refreshing one. It uh, sort of like replaces all the, the sugary drinks. Okay, so I'm not sure what this uh, person's name was. Someone can translate in the comments section. Uh, we got another Dragapult lead. This Pokemon was such a big problem. So we got a Dragapult uh, firing off a Shadow Ball at my Chandelure. This was actually my uh, my choice specs one. So I withstand that Shadow Ball and I fire my own Shadow Ball off at the Dragapult and that gets absolutely dumpsters. So that's really, really good getting rid of that Pokemon. That was a clear counter. Like, that was one counter, right? This battle had a lot of counters. Like, this is like the counter battle, right? So waiting for them to uh, send in the next Pokemon. I was actually hoping they, uh, you know, might do a little salty DC there. But in comes another counter, Tyranitar. Now, this Tyranitar was a, uh, a thorn in my side, to say the least. So I can't do a lot there. I want to save that uh, Choice Mix, uh, sorry, Choice Scarf. Um, no, that was my Choice Spec. Man, I'm getting my choices mixed up. I've got to make the right choice. I'm swapping that one out and going into another Chandelure that's not going to be as good right um, in this situation. So we've got the uh, Chandelure. It's got my Air Balloon one that's going to pop my Air Balloon. And that's not going to really matter too much, right? This is my uh, physical one. So I thought, all right, I'll just throw this physical one. It's going to be a waste of time here. Let's just go for a Swagger. And I might be able to get like, it might hit itself in Confusion one time or something like that. So it's going to get a plus two in attack, right? This thing has Sandstorm and it's got Crunch too. It's going to annihilate my team. So the Tyrant is actually going to hit itself in Confusion. I was like, oh, that's really, really lucky, right? So my Chandler's going to get hit by the Sandstorm. However, I, I can still like live a couple of turns of Sandstorm. Then I'm starting to think, should I just all out go for three Swaggers in a row? Maybe try and take this Tyrant out like with its like attack stat. So giving that Tyrant a plus four in attack, when you think about it, it doesn't matter, right? Because Crunch is going to take my whole team out anyway um, without that drop. And it hits itself in a Confusion again. That's two in a row. So I'm starting to get like low-key excited at the moment. So like should I go for another one or should I go for the Astonish? Go for the Astonish there on the Tyranta. It does like monkey's worth of damage and Tyranta doesn't get flinched and it hits itself three times in a row. Oh my goodness, if only I went for another Swagger there, it actually would have taken itself out. But this Chandelure right has actually exceeded my expectations. Almost taking out this Tyranta. It's going to step out of confusion and take me out with a dank pulse. It was a special Tyranta. Um, that was pretty cool too. So it's, maybe it was like a mix set. So Chandelure is going to go down there, but man, that was, that was crazy like... Um, that physical Chandelure did absolute wonders in the first battle and the second. I would never have expected it to get that much work right. So we're going to go back into that Chandelure we had earlier on against the Dragapult. I'm going to lock myself into Shadow Ball. You're probably wondering why I do that. Um, I know that's not very effective, but I, I, can, I really need it for the Pokemon that are in the back right. They're very, very powerful. 
And uh, Shadow Ball from this thing with Choice Specs, you know, it, it drops high, you know what I'm saying, right? So uh, this, actually, this Chandelier was max health and max special attack. I wasn't running a speedy one. That's why I lived the Shadow Ball at the start. I apologize for that. So Hydragon's going to come in. Counter number three. Like, look at these counters, man. Like, no joke. So I cannot do anything here at all. There's no way of me swapping. And uh, we obviously got another Dank Pulse there. And my Chandelier is, uh, is going to get all its candles blown out. Um, actually, I wonder what happens. Is there a Pokedex entry that, uh, you know, our Charmander's tail goes out and, you know, they... They go rip. What happens to Chandelure if its flames go out? I don't know. Someone someone can read up on that and tell me what's going on with that. So this is the point where I've got to use this Toxic set again. I was really hoping I didn't miss and uh, Hydreigon would actually stay into this one. I actually withstand that Dark Pulse only just though and uh, we get that Toxic off which is really, really good. So I know that I can go for another Protect and then I'm starting to think, should I swap? Like, this chandelier is gold, right? This is like pure gold, because I can actually stall this out with a little bit of uh, protect and uh, toxic. I might be able to swap it in. Maybe get off like a double protect after this. And I hope this thing can take itself out. So when you uh, badly poison a Pokemon, they will go down in six turns if you don't do any other like damage to them and stuff. So that's very, very important, right? So I'm thinking, let's go for a protect here. See if we can get around it. And we're going to get another protect off there, which is really, really good. So Dark Pulse is going to hit the protect. And Chandelure is going to be unscathed for another turn, which is good. Getting some more leftovers recovery in the meantime, too, which is going to be very, very important. Now, Hydreigon's taken another round of uh, poison damage. This is the part I was thinking, should I get greedy and go for another protect? And I thought, no, I really need that Chandelure to work for me, right? So going into uh, the next Chandelure, I think this could be the weakness policy one. I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember, like, which one it is. So I take that really well, and uh, yeah, it is the weakness policy one. I actually take that very, very nicely too. Now, I actually was thinking about swapping that in later on, but even a weakness policy hex and flame troll was not going to take out high Dragon. So I'm able to take that one, getting a little bit more toxic damage here. I, I can just go for flame throw or hex. It doesn't really matter. Um, I could Dynamax here, but I was thinking even if I Dynamax... Uh, the Dark Pulse is going to take me out right and I'll waste my Dynamax. So Sandalure is going to go down there. But man, this Sandalure has been like super handy at like tanking the hit and getting toxic damage. Right? On both battles, right, it was like instrumental me taking out these cannons. Uh, so we got uh, probably, oh, I'd say, I think that's three... Two to three more turns until this uh, Hydreigon goes. I think it's two turns. So I can easily go for a nice uh, protect here. It's going to be the turn after that's actually going to be a clinch on this match, whether I'm going to be able to stay in this game or not. So go for that obvious protect there. I actually half expected them to go for a swap or for a setup move. I'm thinking uh, they're just going to try and take this one out, right? It's a very, very stally one. So getting some more left over recovery, which is good. Shandil is actually uh, getting close back to half health as well. Seeking if I can get past this right, I might be able to paint spit another Pokemon. So Hydra on whether it takes me out or not this turn it's gonna go down i get a second protect off there that was really game changing so look at this at the moment like this is like if anything in this video deserves a like this is it i've taken out a dragapult a tyranta and a hydragon all of them count on my team and i'm actually pretty weak against all of them like i can't do much damage to them except dragapult right but man what an achievement so far with this team so we've got three more pokemon to contend with i've got three more pokemon all right, now this is where things get interesting. I could go for a fire spin here and probably two hit KO the Togo tomorrow, but then I'll start to think, I might be able to get a pain spit off here. I'm pretty bulky, right? I should be able to live a zing zap like really, really badly and might be able to get a pain spit off. So getting hit by that zing zap, I take it very well. I don't get flinched and I get a pain spit off against the Togo tomorrow. Getting back over half health, so a lot more health than I had before. Plus another round of leftovers too, which is very, very good. And also it's in range for me to take out with the fire spin. So I can go for another protect here, get another round of leftovers, and then go for another fire spin right. Man, this Shandalu is absolutely clutch um, in both battles. It was very, very good. So Zing Zap's going to hit the protect again, and we're going to get another round of leftovers on the Shandalu. Like these six Pokemon teams are very, very fun because you have to actually think outside the square, right? You can't just go with... You know, the standard set that every single man and his dog runs, right? you got to get out of the square, and you got to think a bit. That's why I like them. So we got a Zing Zap from the Togedomara. I don't get flinched, and Fire Spin lands on the Togedomara, almost taking it out. However, the extra damage from the Fire Spin will take it out. I was like, oh my goodness, is that a Citrus Berry? It's not. It's actually a Salak Berry, raising Togedomara's speed, and Togedomara is now trapped in, and Fire Spin is going to take it out. This is very, very good news. So what, the Marshandalo is still standing after all this time. I I guess, well, floating, I guess, unless you put a little, like, 
Um, one of those little uh, stands, uh, those candle, I think it's called a candelabra. It's like a little stand that uh, sits on. I, I'm not sure what the, the name for it is. All oh, right, so next Pokemon coming here is the Rotom. It's going to go for a Thunder Monster. I'm going to live this one just and it critical hits me. I think I would have lived that and got a pain split off. So a bit unlucky there. If it was choice specs, I wouldn't have lived it. So, you know, that that is what it is. If it wasn't, you know, I would have. So into the minimized chandelier and I was like, can I pull this one off again? And I haven't Dynamax, so that's the only thing that I had in the back of my mind that was worrying me, right? They can bypass those, actually. So now we got a Thunderbolt coming from the Rotom oven there. It does a lot of damage to me. I'm thinking it's, uh, I don't know, like... I wasn't sure if it was choice specs or not. It was hard to do the damage calls in this range. So uh, I got the minimize up. I was like, surely one more minimize will set me up and then I can get this going. And it lands the second Thunderbolt. I'm like, no, man. I could have done... There's not a lot I could have done there. There's not too much I could have done. I could have gone for an overheat. It might have done a quarter damage if I was lucky. So I, I was willing to take the risk there. All right. The last chandelier we got is uh, the... Uh, this is the choice scarf one. So I was like, okay... If I go for a Max Mindstorm here, I can put the Psychic Terrain in the field. That'll at least get rid of uh, the last Pokemon's, um, you know, uh, Priority moves, right? You might be able to guess what the last Pokemon is, and it is another counter. So go for that uh, Dynamax Chandelure. And I was thinking, if I get that on the field, this should do a lot of damage. This should be a 2 KO against the Rotom oven, right? I should be able to withstand Thunderbolts from this thing pretty easily. I might get paralyzed. That's the only thing I'm, like, kind of worried about. Now, I actually forgot my Dynamax candies in this battle, Face Palm. And uh, we're going to go for a Max Mindstorm here on the uh, Rotom oven. So that does three quarters damage. Very, very impressive there. And the next one's going to easily take it out. So getting that Psychic Terrain in the field there, blocking all those uh, priority moves, which is going to be very, very handy. And uh, now we've got another Thunderbolt from the uh, Rotom. That did a lot of damage. I'm thinking it's probably Choice Specs. Oh, well, I wasn't sure. Anyway, I was a little bit bummed I didn't put those Dynamax candies on the Chandelure. Uh, go for another Max Mindstorm and Rotom Oven is going to go down. Um, the next Pokemon we got is another clear counter this team. This will be counter number four, like heavy counter number four to this team. So waiting for them to send out the last Pokemon. I know that it's coming. I know that they're not going to DC here because they've got a good chance. And you might have guessed it's Mimikyu. It's like, oh no. So not only do I have to get past its disguise ability, I've also got to take it out. So that's why I was talking about uh, Psychic Terrain being on the field as well. So now we've got the uh, Dynamax Mimikyu. Of course we do. Um, I was wondering if I could actually outspeed this thing. I was running max speed, so there was a chance I could outspeed it because... It won't be able to use, like, Shadow Sneak and Dynamax either, right? So I was thinking they'll definitely Dynamax, then they'll go for, like, a Ghost-type move, right? So I can get rid of that uh, Disguise, and then I can hit it for as hard as I possibly can with the Shadow Ball, right? So I go for that Max Mind Storm, outspeeding the Mimikyu, and now uh, we're going to break the Mimikyu's neck, and it's going to just go, like, boop to the side. Um, I actually think this, like, this ability is way too strong. It's such a good ability. Like, the, look at the nerf to it. That nerf is nothing. Like, in my opinion, that's like a very, very poor nerf. Anyway, so we've got a Max, uh, Max Phantasm on my Chandelure, and that is going to take me out. I thought I did a brilliant battle there against all those uh, counters. Man, I was very, very proud of this team the way it did. Like, this was a much harder team than the first battle, and that team was fairly hard too. All right, people. Hope you enjoyed this battle. I'll have weekly, con like, daily content out for you people, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.